just a quick warning at the top here I wanted to make sure I included. This game contains fast, flashing images. It may cause discomfort and trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy. Player discretion is advised. Just something I wanted viewers to be aware of if you decide to give this series a try. How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new game Yuppie Psycho just released today. Thank you for the developer Baroque Decay who sent a key my way. They're actually the same developers who made the Count Lucanor, which I never actually played but it looked pretty interesting. This game is like a weird uh, office survival horror game I think it called itself. Honestly the first time I heard about it was like yesterday and I saw the trailer and it might have been one of the coolest trailers I've ever seen. Visually, uh, music, sound effects, tone, everything about it just had me so instantly sold so I'm really excited about this one. I hope you guys are excited about it too, I think it'll be an interesting one to dive into. Already the visual style is like all over the place and kind of very unique. We'll have to see how it goes. It has these like fully animated but still pixel cutscenes. This place is so full of people and my tie is just too tight. I've never worn one before. They were right. The big city really will eat me alive. This is awesome. It's like anime translated into like pixel art or whatever. It's really detailed. And this letter. Job offer. Brian Postman or something? What if everything was a joke? A scam? I was just trying to read his name on there. But maybe it's real. If this letter is real. Oh man. Some of the cool, like the cutaways, so it's all dark. This would be my first job. How old are you? And how did you end up with like an office job for your first job? Brian here, if that is his real name, is. He's got connections. This is a very dramatically different uh, art style from cutscene to like character portrait to in-game. I like it. I like the uh, mix and matching. It was Brian. It was hard to read with like very tiny pixel drawn handwritten font. Look at look at that. Well, I've finally arrived. I hope I'm not at the wrong place. If it's your first day on the job, you should probably be certain of that, man. You don't want to screw this up that soon. I should walk around here. I'm a bit nervous. Maybe if I talk to someone? Hello there. You with the jimmy legs squirming around. Is she chugging coffee? Is that what's going on? Or is she like kissing a newspaper? The limited amount of pixels makes it hard to tell. Hi, excuse me. Okay, well she's definitely reading, but it's hard to- is she like yawning or just getting in close to read it? The administration of an ordered branch's functional task is directly proportional to the product, product received from its contractual relationship to the net profit. Yeah, I feel no need to follow up on that either. It's a booklet. It says, Are you at the top of your class? Start your work life at the best company in the world with one of our deluxe international scholarships. International scholarships. <laughs> too many big words too close together. <laughs> There's nothing that complex. I guess I'm just mumbly. There's nothing interesting here. Oh, come on. You don't get your head right in there, man. You don't know what kind of wonderful treasures will be waiting for you in the trash. Rooftop, management, executive gardens, archives, library, offices, hive. I don't really know what the hive would be. IT, security, initiation, canteen, and lobby. Weird that you would call the first floor floor zero. Maybe we're underground slightly? Like, this is getting right off the train, possibly? Hello, I'm Brian. Mr. Chapman. Nice to meet you, Brian, if you don't mind. Would you call me by my last name? Chapman. You know how big companies are with their formalities. Oh, uh, excuse me. You should call me Pasternak then. I didn't read his uh, last name quite so well. Nice to meet you, Pasternak. Looking at you, I think I can assume it's also your first day at work. Just stay calm, it's normal to be a bit nervous. Yeah, I'm here because I got a letter? It's weird. We, we got this job offer in like this red envelope, which looked like a very formal certificate, which seems like a weird way to receive a, a job offer. But is this something we applied for? So, sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you entered. What are you wearing? Uh, a suit. No, I mean, what designer? Who made it for you? 
Oh wait, the like slick hair, the smoking the cigarettes, calling themselves Chapman, like talking about who made your suits and stuff. It feels very American Psycho, which I only saw for the first time a couple months ago, so maybe it's fresh in my mind. Oh, then I have no idea. I apologize for my bad manners, but that seems very peculiar to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? Hmm, I think my mother got it for me at a supermarket. Super market? Excuse me, but what class are you? I'm class G. And you? So we're not talking like lower, upper, middle, anything like that. This is like a ranked society. Get away from me, vermin! <laughs> okay, that was more explosive than I was prepared for. How dare you talk to me, class G scum! But how? 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 Get out, go! Uh, I'm sorry for- SHUT UP! What brings a, 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 a piece of shit like you to a company like this? Do you know where you are? Do you? Uh, this is the original Sintracorp headquarters. The mythical, nay, legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. I, uh, yes, I haven't finished yet. The, okay, that's a, a, get away from me, but stay right here while I tell you a full history lesson of everything this company has ever done. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people at the international level. Students from the most prestigious universities are rejected by the handful for not making the grade. Candidates of proven experience fight for a, no. <sighs> Calm down, Chapman. I can't keep talking to you. Get out of here. Just... I also noticed that there's like a very, very thoroughly on-duty surveillance camera going around up top there, so we're being watched, even just in the opening lobby here. It's a pamphlet. It reads, security, stability, fair salary, and ultimately, your welfare are our priorities. Centricorp provides class A cit citizenship to all our employees. Ooh, so this G, this class Graham, living that A lifestyle. We've spent half a century at the top working for you. Class A is a dream for someone like me. That last part might have been a personal thought, not part of the pamphlet. What did I just do? <laughs> That's what I wanted you to do in the last one, but why'd you do it so grossly? It looked like you got shit all over the place. Yuck! We'll do it again, though. Maybe you'll find some goodies. <laughs> I don't see anything useful here. He wasn't even willing to stick his hand in the first one, and then he just went all in on that one. Oh, she's all done with her stuff. What's the deal? What's going on here? Hello, my name's Brian. Kate. Wow, you're very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Ah, that's right. Sorry, I'm not used to this. Mine is Pastor Nick. No, 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 no. Call me Kate. It's more natural. Are you from the suburbs? Yes, I'm G class. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> I hope you don't mind talking to me. <laughs> I guess you met that blonde guy. There's always a lot of very stuck up people working downtown. Oh, does that mean you're not from the capital? I was born in Class E, but my father got a job here and my family was able to ascend through the ranks. How lucky. So, are you here because you got a job offer also? Yeah, I finished college and passed all six entrance exams. I'm super excited. I'm sure you know how hard it is to get to a job here. There were thousands of candidates. I work in disaggregated analytics, by the way. What's your specialization? Specialization. Getting yelled at? Let me guess. Managing redundancy. There was kind of a pause in the music while he thought about that there. Uh, <laughs> perhaps combined programs? Well, I combined some of them. Wait, wait, wait. Network protocol systems. Management of vertical bases. Structural data calculus. No, I, I've only finished my basic studies. Oh. Whew. She's gonna yell at us now, too. What am I even doing here? It's impossible for a Class G to get a job at a company like this. That letter must have been someone's idea of a joke. Letter. Take a look. Brian Pasternak, you have been selected for a role within Centricorp's staff. This job upgrades your status to the Class A category permanently. That seems like an awful high jump through the ranks there. Probably should have been a tad more suspicious of that there, Brian. It was delivered to my house a week ago, and then I put it off for an entire week, even though it promised so much. I thought... I... I don't know. Now that I'm here, it's clear this was a mistake. I'm, I'm an idiot. What do you mean, a mistake? 
you've directly secured a position at Centricorp. To me, this sounds like the opportunity of a lifetime. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education. This is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw a great potential in you. Have we been waiting for the elevator this entire time? It only had 10 floors. That took an insanely long time to call the elevator. Mr. Chapman, please enter the elevator. <laughs> they always call the most important people first. Understand? Of course you don't. I can see from your face how ignorant you are. No, oh, what a piece of shit. And I think he was going to be my best friend. You see that little light on the elevator that marks the floors? The higher you go, the more appreciated you are here. The ninth floor, the managing directors. That's my destiny. Goodbye forever, beggars. Is that where he's going right now? Or like... That's just his personal aspirations. Because I hope it stops at, like, the third floor and just doesn't go any higher. There! Okay, yeah, but the third floor is the second floor because floor zero is floor one. What a confusing system. How does this company even operate? This is just too much chaos going on. It stopped on the second floor. He wasn't too important, I guess. <laughs> yeah, what a fuck. What a liar. What a maroon. Did it kick him back down already? Miss Hicks, please enter the elevator. Miss, hey? Single? <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm a bag of nerves. I'm a bag of nerves. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. Maybe we'll see each other someday. And you can kiss my shoe while I'm all the way at the top. I hope we meet again so I can invite you out for a coffee. Oh, so do I. How high is she going? What did that stop at? Up to the fourth floor. She must have studied hard to go so high. Huh, I guess I'll have to wait here until they call me. Unless that letter really was a joke. I'm kind of curious what floors it says they got off at. So Chapman got off just at initiation. He's literally at the bottom because this is the lobby. The canteen, I guess, is just where you get lunch. Although I assume management isn't coming down to the canteen to get their lunch. And she got off at the hive? Is that right? Hmm. How about this big boarded off room? I want to investigate this first, because I feel like I'm going to initiate something with the closed off one. It's a pamphlet. It reads, Every year, Central Court provides aid to millions of people in underdeveloped sectors via social work. Remember, there can be no growth without sustainability. There's a lot of Kool-Aid being passed around at this company, I think. It won't open. In that case, just let me in. Eric Andre style. Actually, maybe I should show that letter to the camera? Open up the briefcase and, and grab that up. Use. Hello, security camera gentleman or, or lady. Yeah, don't want to assume a security camera's gender. I received this letter with my name. See? It says you've given me a job? Is this some sort of prank or... Hello? I'll just leave then. What an idiot. Looks like I came all this way for nothing. Yeah, I think we better just leave, Brian. Hang your head lower. Slouch more. Be more pitiful. Well, looks like I won't be having my first job at the Capitol after all. And it's a long journey back home. Ooh, ding dong. Maybe it's just someone leaving. Maybe Chapman got fired already. That music is encouraging, though. No name to be called? Don't worry. I'll just close the elevator up. It was clearly a mistake. I guess if you guys will have me. Peculiar that there's the option to even hit buttons. Kind of seems like this stuff is automated. Canteen, IT, Hive, and then I kind of forget what everything was beyond that. How high are they taking us here? Oh, what was that? Oh, it's the name of the game. Yuppie Psycho, which I don't have a clue what that means. I like the sound of it, though. The music is awesome too. That was immediately apparent in the trailer and I'm very excited to see like the full soundtrack throughout the game. The top floor? This has to be a mistake, right? 
I'm going to inch my way. <laughs> okay, there's only one speed you can move, apparently. I was going to inch my way through, and then he just immediately started strutting his way through. Oh. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look great up here. The, uh, the vibes of this game have turned very dramatically. Why am I following the bloody path? I feel like I probably should have gone the opposite direction, the clean, not disgusting side. Different sized pyramids. There's probably some artistic meaning to represent synergy within the company. Or maybe it's just a giant, what are they called, like LMLM companies, like pyramid scheme companies. A remote control, but it doesn't work. I'll need two batteries for it. Okay, do I have like an idea of what I need to start looking for in this game then? Modern art, expensive vases, but covered in, I want to say red paint? There's paint everywhere. There's an awful lot of paint. Just enough for a, a beautiful piece of modern art. Spheres! These just look like regular spheres. I don't understand much about modern art. They're just shapes. Just shapes of different sizes. Kill the witch! What a weird... What a weird place to leave your paint. I, I personally like to leave mine in a can, sealed in a corner somewhere. But smearing it on the wall like that's another good place to keep it, I suppose. It looks like a contract. I, Brian Pasternick, declare that I accept the job offered by Citricorp as described in the attached annexes, at which my salary will consist of 10,000 credits per day. I have to assume that's a lot, plus bonuses for achievements and maintenance and promotion to Class A. 10,000 credits a day? It's, it's a fortune. Wait, wait, wait. This could be a trick. Let me read those annexes. Now I have to ask, is the smear on the giant screen at the back of the room uh, part of the contract? According to the pre-established norms of the Jura Jurisprudential Doctrine, that's a made-up word. Currently enforced, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Centricorp. By accepting this stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary, subsidiary <laughs> clauses within this document. Indefinitely or until termination of contract, this contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of the Trade Union Association. Okay, it could be extended, but I thought it was like a permanent upgrade to Class A, so I kind of assumed the job was permanent too? If you take away the job, do I lose my Class A? Am I overthinking this? <laughs> Should I just progress the story? Probably. Acceptance of this contract entails a total or partial waiver of privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted to social status, in social status, as dictated by Revolution 1138. Uh-huh. I can't make heads or tails of this. Should I sign? Hard... Y yes Hard no? I have a bad feeling about this. I better not sign it. I kind of want to look around the room a little first, maybe, but inevitably I do plan to sign it. On the other hand, having my first job at such an important company, with all these credits? Whew. Let's think on it a little bit, and in the meantime, go splash around in the ridiculous amount of blood. Or paint, whatever you want to call it. People have different names for things. Kill the witch. Ah, uh, this is just some eccentricity of the big city, right? Centricorp is a very important company, so... Who am I to judge the value of this bloody art? It's probably cow blood. Must be worth millions. Yeah, yeah, let's defend the, uh, the super corporation. Their morals are clearly in the right place. They seem like a bunch of guys who got it all figured out. I could sit down, but better not. There are cameras everywhere. Yeah, but if you sit down, maybe that would put you as like the automatic instant king of the company, you know? Not boss, king, not CEO, king. <laughs> I think that's worth the risk. Yes, it is. I've come all this way, I can't back out now. Everyone would think I was just a coward. I'll sign it. Achievement unlocked. Deal with the devil. Good. Right? Tarmonic 4? I could not tell what was just said. Wow. What just happened? 
was that the witch? Was that the anti-witch? Is that who hates the witch? I don't know what just happened, and I could not tell what was said. Well, I signed it. Now what? Oh. Elevator's ready. Guess we'll head on back to work. Go do our job. Mm, I'd like to take the remote with me. Dang. All right, I'm taking the path less traveled. The less bloody one, the one where I won't ruin my new shoes. Actually, was this here before? Did I ignore it? There's a door, but it's locked. I think I was probably so drawn by the fascinating bread crumb-esque trail of blood that that was where I chose to go first. Where to? Emergency seems to do nothing. Take me to the canteen. Oh, that's not how that works. I thought I was going to have to type out zero one. In that case, just take me to the canteen. We can go tease Chapman, see what they got going on here. Eat. It's a good reminder. I might have forgotten. I'll pencil it in for later in the day. I'm suddenly uh, like a class A ranking dude. I'm a busy man. I don't know if I'll have time for mundane peasant class G activities like eating. Probably just ingest pills or something, right? Gotta stay efficient. Wow, this guy looks like he's really enjoying his box of food. Looks like he's eating something, but the plate's empty. Oh, Jesus Christ. These cornflakes give you superpowers. Oh, he really loves his su he loves his superpowers. Loves his cornflakes. Look how fast he eats them. Yum yum. Should we have a few scoops? Empty box. I choose to take it. Yes. I would have really loved to have some. The guy's a bit of a son of a bitch for hogging them all to himself. Taking the last cornflakes. Now there's no superpowers for me. Commercial agreements. Maybe that's you. You eat enough of them. You can put on a cape and stand at the top of the building and tell people you're a superhero. It's a genius, genius situation. According to the company magazine at Centricorp, you're not an employee. You're a leader. Anyone want to gather around the water cool and just, like, talk about things? Just have a chat about the local weather, maybe? Are these instructions how to make different food? Huh. Well, most of it is uh, exactly how I would expect it to work. I like the visual aid though, makes it nice and easy. I guess someone somewhere in the building is going to want like a particular snack. Now I know how to make it for him. Vending machines, selling candy bars, 150 credits, I don't have enough money. Uh, we're going to have to wait for our first check to clear. I doubt we're going to get paid daily though, so it might be a while. Soda also costs 150, coffee costs 200, but I can just make my own if I ever find beans lot of bordered off parts of this also a weird like I don't know what this is but there's like a cross and a picture on the wall and stuff like a weird religious altar altar is the word I wanted five credits to make an offering but it's broken can't be too difficult to fix ah, it doesn't sound like our job though emergency exit out of order so I guess there's no emergency exiting there might be no exiting one way or the other none none of that allowed 30 credits all right, I'm going to go back uh, and continue on the trade of sticking my hand in garbage cans. I was prepared to give up on it. It seemed like it wasn't yielding very good results. There's a curtain of dry noodles with the name erased. Should I take it? Yes. They erased the name off of it. That was clearly their way of saying you should take it. It's not like anyone else might have erased it or anything like that. Where did Chapman end up then? Oh, he would be on initiation. Let's go see if Chapman's still around up on two. Clearly it wants me to go to six, but I'm, I'm choosing to make these my first two stops. What the shit is going on here? Well, this is a much nicer garbage can. One ink cartridge. Hmm, I was kind of hoping for some sweet, sweet credits. Hello? I'm not wandering around in the dark without a light, and I'd rather not wander around here even if I had one. This is initiation? Oh, I, I that was just from walking. I thought I had initiated co a conversation. You can't actually talk to anyone. Initiation is uh, peculiar. Seems like the world's worst game of tag is underway, so I don't quite know what's going on there. 
Uh, do you know what? Before I bother with that, I do want to re double check what the floors are. Let's let's work our way up because four is going to be where Kate is. Five is where it's clearly trying to make me go. Do you know what? I just realized there's no floor six. That would explain why that one is uh, redded out. I was thinking that it would offices is where it wanted me to to go because it's the sixth one up. Uh, but five, five is the button that's going to take me there. Well, let's just kind of keep working our way through things. I'm just going to go up one floor at a time and uh, familiarize myself with the uh, the ingoings, ongoings, in and out, on and off goings of this company. Because I don't know what the shit is going on currently. To get the lay of the land. If we're suddenly promoted so high up, we got to know the ins and outs, right? Over a thousand cameras are watching out for your safety. Smile. Not allowed in to the security room. Oh, hello, Boxhead. He seems like a, a chipper young fellow. What the shit? So I can be injured. That's a strange discovery. I don't seem to have like a UI indicating a health bar or anything like that. I don't. It seems like he's just shaking around a briefcase. I, I don't know what to make of that. I guess I'm going to keep my distance, though. I don't know how close I want to get to all of these uh, cardboard boxes everywhere. Seems to have not worked out particularly well for that other guy. Bunch of empties, nothing here's. It's very dark. I won't go in there without a light. I imagine at this stage in the game, most things are going to be blacked out, but we're just building intrigue, just seeing what it has to offer, you know? That girl I met in the lobby, Kate, was supposed to have come to work on this floor. But it's so dark, I can't find her without a light. Oh, so we're just not even really gonna... We're not gonna be able to do much on any floor. But now I at least know... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this girl didn't throw a fit when I tried to interact with her. Let me get up close to this guy again. Was it when I tried to talk to him? No, just being near him made him wig the hell out. What about you? I'm not even going to joke about going in there. I can't see anything. Hello? Can we talk? Does anyone want to talk about their day? Let me know what you got going on. Any important meetings or anything I should be attending? Huh. Well, uh, probably bad news for Kate. Seems like she's got a few knobheads on her floor there. Seems like the kind of difficult people to get along with, you know? Hello? What's... what's this? It looks like a blank page. Wait, it has a watermark. I think that's Centricorp's logo. I'll keep it in my briefcase. I guess it's too late for this now, but when you boot up the game and it does thing Like, normally it would be like, EA Games! Grinding gear, Baroque Decay, like showing who made the game. It came up with Centricorp's logo. And it was kind of like they made this game. So I, I thought that was kind of a neat little bit of meta going on. But unfortunately, I wasn't rolling at the time. You got a mysterious sheet of paper. Hello. Hello, my short little friend. You're the only one I've seen so far who looks remotely happy or pleased to be here or has a name. Who hasn't punched me in the face or had a box for a head. It's a nice change of pace. Hello. Are you the new guy? One of them, at least. Yes, hello, my name is Brett. Uh, Pasternak. Name is Pasternak. Nice to meet you, Brya Pasternak. No, 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 it's just... <laughs> it's a joke, man. I'm Hugo, your new workmate. I clicked past that on accident. Sorry, a little lost. Don't be making short jokes like that, Brian. Gotta get to know him better first. I get you. If you come from the suburbs, the big city can take a lot out of you at first. But don't worry, you're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Thank you. Now, this is the fifth floor. Here, we mostly perform management tasks. Work with databases, well, you know, computer stuff. Give me the grand old tour, will you, Hugo? This is the only floor so far that didn't feel like a complete hellscape, even if, even if like, drone zombie type employees are wandering around. At least it's not pitch black and full of screaming maniacs. There's a few offices and a meeting room, the bathroom's in the back, and this is the reception desk. Though the receptionist isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. 
Look at that guy coming in, for example. He seems busy. Hey there, partner. Let me introduce, introduce you to pass. Not worth it. See, didn't even notice us. One guy even comes to work just so he can sleep. <laughs> Is that the same guy or not? <laughs> Come on, follow me. I'll show you our office. Ooh, do we get to work together in the same room? That's much more appealing to me than sharing a room with any of these other guys. They're very rude. Welcome to your new office. Right now it's a bit empty since a few of the employees are on sick leave, but... The receptionist, all these guys, what the shit? <laughs> Quite a few people seem to be missing. Probably for reasons other than basic common flus. Look who's come out of her lair. This is another one of our co-workers. Sosa. Hey, I'm Pasternak. Oh my god, she looks even more batshit insane with the, <laughs> the drawn-in version there. She looks creepier than the people with, like, their glazed-over eyes. See you later. The pleasure is all mine. <laughs> She's a bit shy at first, but once she gets started with one of her stories, there's no stopping her. Well, let's go on with the tour. Is there much more to see? Seems like pretty standard cubicle affairs. Over here we have the water cooler, an important staple of our office, and all offices. There's not much science involved, it's just free water. When it's empty, someone will have to come and refill it, which can sometimes take years. The bureaucracy of the office. And here we have the cornerstone of any office, the coffee maker. Ah, you're right, there's no need for water. We prepare a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you say? We use a little to replenish our strength. I'm not gonna have to like worry about stats and stuff, are I? <laughs> it's playing more of like the spooky horror music. Oh no, there's no coffee left. There's a legend that this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never ever ever prepares more when it's finished. Is it Sosa? She seems like she's maybe had a cup too many. Right, Sosa? Right. I think I think it might actually be her. I feel like maybe that is what it's getting at. So then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? Of course, what do I do? First you need water, coffee, powder. Aw, oh, come on, you guys gotta get beans. You should be able to find some in here somewhere. I don't mind if I just go rummaging around. I came prepared. I brought my own water. Empty. Sosa hides in there. Sometimes. What is her job description? What is any of our job descriptions? Lots of documents, nothing I can use to make coffee. A telephone, perhaps. You could phone for more coffee. You could photocopy some coffee. Not at the moment, eh? I, I got another cup of water. How many cups of water am I sitting on? Two! It actually individually keeps track. Oh shit, I do have a health bar. I will keep that in mind. Hey, that's my desk. Don't mess it up. I have nothing you can use. Sorry, got a little panicky there, didn't he? I don't see anything useful here. Maybe in the trash. Packet of coffee powder. Of course. Hugo, I'm not sure this will work. It was in the trash. Oh, it'll be fine. Blow on it a little bit. It'll work perfectly. I don't know if you can blow dust off of powder. Hopefully most of it was still in the bag. Okay, now that you've got the magic ingredients, just turn on the coffee maker. So, sir, do you want to discuss anything? Let's, yeah, let's not bother her. Thought maybe she might have some guilt. She'd like to get off her chest. Let's brew up some coffee. One, one rich, dark, malty cup of coffee. Coffee gives you a much stronger energy boost than a plain cup of water. Water's really only good for showering. Well... I think that's all the basics. Do you have any questions? Here's your desk. Here's the coffee. You're all set. What exactly is my job? Do you really want to start working already? You've only just arrived. Oh, I just realized I forgot to teach you the most important things about working here. The phone, the computer, the copier. Ah, you'll need ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. You can use this to print important pieces of data like quarterly figures or work documentation, but 
Let's face it, those are lower floor tasks, aren't they? We here on the fifth floor can instead use this wonderful device to do fun things like photo photocopying our asses. <laughs> I thought he was going to say butts. Asses is funnier. What? It's a riot. Give it a go. Man, no shame. I mean, I, he's probably photocopying a bit more down there than just his ass when he whipped down the entire pants like that. <laughs> Let's see if my ass portrait came out well. Uh, I think I should have done it double-sided. God, it's a bit of a wide ride you got going on there, buddy. Come on, it's your turn. Ah, no, no thanks. Oh, come on, man. You'll understand how funny it is once you've done it. <laughs> it may not seem funny now from this outside perspective, but just you wait. I just realized the, like, minute hand on the clock or whatever is just going bananas. It doesn't stop moving. I, maybe it's seconds, I don't know, but it seems like... Minutes. Time is just dwindling away. I guess you don't have to do your ass if you're embarrassed. Why not use your face instead? My face? You just... It's okay. Photocopiers get pretty hot. It probably scorched the, the ass print right off there. Let's see. I hope I get the choice, because if I get the choice, I'm going ass. Oh, no. It's out of paper. Ah, uh, well, what a pity. Another time, perhaps. No, come on, man. You're the only one I can do these things with. So says a wuss and never dares. I can't believe we don't have any paper in our office. Is there some in your briefcase? Hmm, I picked up a blank sheet off the floor earlier. That might work. Oh, you're gonna, like, capture your soul in this piece of paper or something, dude. It just came out of the sky when everything went black. Don't copy your face onto blank paper like that. Any paper works. The important thing is to put your head inside the machine against the glass. Ah, don't worry about the radiation or anything like that. You've used the mysterious sheet of paper. Photocopied soul! That's what I was telling you, man! That was... That... No! Now what? This seems like a step in the wrong direction. This seems like a bad move. Wow, it sure is shiny. What just happened? And would the same thing have still happened if I used my ass? Would it still photocopy my soul based on my ass print? Witch paper. What? Well, well, I see you know how to take care of yourself, Pasternak. Uh, more details, please? So then, what's my job exactly? Do you know what? When I started the game, it came up with a thing that was like, this game does not auto-save. You'll find out how to save as you play. That must have been it. Copying your soul must be saves. Like I said, if you really want to start working already, you can use that old computer next to you. Someone will relay you your tasks. I don't... I'm not... I'm not thrilled about the idea of starting working right now, but I probably could. It reads, Boss. Better not bother him. Again, with the assuming there. There's no gender assigned. Let's see. How does this old thing turn on? Ooh, we could ask Whalen Smithers. Ah, this doesn't work. Looks like there's no power. Ah! That's an easy fix. Presumably I'm not plugging in anything nefarious. Some alternate device that I'm not seeing. Ah! Straightforward as can be. Hello? You need an ID card to access this machine. ID card? That seems to have not come up at any other point during any of this. Dude, Hugo, can you hook me up? Sorry to bother you again, Hugo, but the computer says I need an ID card? Ah, true. Mm, normally they get sent to the boss's office. I'll see if yours is already there. Don't go in there. He's never coming back. We'll just have to steal his ID instead. Oh. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Hello. Sintracorp. I think. I think that's the name of where I work. Mr. Pasternak. Yes, it's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told me you don't have your ID card. Seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. No, it's fine. It looks like they sent your ID card to another office. You have to go to Office D, which is on the same floor as yours. 
Novice D, got it, thank you. Any, any thing else going on in this room? I'm kind of on edge at the moment. I'm waiting for shit to get real out of control. Like, real sketchy stuff. Locked out, of course. Decorative pictures of dried beaches and seeds? Branches and seeds. Oh, cool, they're like pressings or whatever. Office E, systems and databases. I thought maybe I wouldn't be able to read it because the plant's in the way, and that like later in the game I would, and it would be like, you're in charge of, you know, hellish machinations or something like that. So the fact that it was a totally harmless little thing there was is totally fine. Hmm, more witch paper, so I guess I'll, I'll have another means of saving. Nothing interesting. Presumably that's what the witch paper is for. I, I have no reason to think otherwise. <laughs> is Hugo just like employee of the month every single month? Uh, Hugo is all of them. Huh, probably because he's the only one who seems like a human being around here. Nice. Totally up to 60 credits. Emergency exit out of order. Just all the exits in this game are going to be totally bunk, aren't they? Yes, I'm aware that I'm I'm investigating the rooms and offices that I, I like don't have access to and that didn't tell me to go to. Oh shit, C worked. I didn't get to read what C was. Apparently, it's the office of drawing lines on whiteboards and staring at piles of shit. What a what an important aspect of the company's day-to-day -day operations. I don't understand a lot of these charts, but I'd say this company seems to have its ups and downs. Maybe we just flick something on here? Oh, that was a mistake. None of that, please. Are you going to punch me or wig out or anything? What is that? It's horse shit. Okay. Do we just stare at this together? Do I grab a, a spoonful? Do I just try to not add to the horse shit? Can I make it out of this room with the lights off? Hey, I, that, okay. Now what happens if I go back in, though? Lights back on. Seemed like the risk of something fucky happening there was going to be a lot higher. I didn't get to see what this one was uh, labeled, if anything. Meeting room. Okay. Out of the way, chair. I have no control. Accounting. This sofa is blocking the door. Maybe I could push it out of the way? There you go, use that coffee strength. You're a beast, Brian. There's no stopping your ascension to the top of the corporate ladder here. You're a real go-getter, aren't ya? Yet again, it's way too dark in here. Hello? There's something written on the floor. It's a trap? This... This isn't funny. Turn on the light. I don't know where I am. Oh, shit, okay. Okay. I couldn't tell where I was in the room even for a second there. Uh, okay. That was abnormal. Oh, nice, a soda. That's... Seems uh, beneficial. But if I stand in the way... Yep, okay, you can totally get hit by those. I feel like I just heard someone, like, moaning or something. You better, you better chug a coffee or something. Okay, we want to make sure we are, we're not dying, making our way through here. Oh, I see. It's, it turns red when you get close enough to it, and then it fires ahead. What the shit is going on? There's so many wires everywhere. I don't think this is anyone I've met. Hello? Do you know where the exit is? Oh my god. Oh, oh. It looks fucking terrifying, actually. The, like, the desperation in the eyes, the crying, the, like, grit in his teeth, like around his neck and everything. Oh my goodness, he's tied to the chair. What happened here? I'm gonna try untying you. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna wigged out by this. I feel like it's a test. Is it a trap or a test? Maybe it's both? It won't budge. Hey, I'm not sure I can help you just, just yet, but perhaps between the two of us we can find a way out of here? Oh, okay, I see, I see. We're just gonna wing him around the room. Alright, this seems like a good strategy. He's like lighting up the path on his own here, so that between the two of us we'll be totally fine. Can't push the chair over these wires, and they're too tangled to move. Shit. Oh, oh fuck, I was kind of prepared for that to happen. It still caught me. Anything else? 
Candy bar. Okay. Uh, cardboard box. It seems pretty sturdy. I don't know what you're going to try to do with it. Put it on your head? That's what everyone else was doing. Use? You should probably eat this too and, and try and keep yourself sustained. Uh, Alright. I guess I have no idea what I'm going to do with that box. Putting it on my head was my only theory because that's the only thing I've ever seen anyone do with cardboard boxes in this crazy work world. More. More boxes. Was that a thing? Was I supposed to grab the box? Oh. Now nah, I was just supposed to go to that side of the room. Should we try and... Hey, wheel, wheels guy. The air duct is open, but it's very high up. I need some help if I want to climb into it. That's fine. We'll push you in the way. Oh, we can't go past the wires. Damn it. I was going to go just stand on his head. They say you're not supposed to stand on swivel chairs. That's a little dangerous, but I felt like if I had a guy on it, if I was, like, standing on his shoulders on a swivel chair, then it would be fine, right? He'd be the one at risk, not me so much. Did I? Oh, there we go. I thought I was scared I pushed him somewhere that I wasn't going to be able to keep going, that I broke things a little bit. Mm hmm. Dude, seriously, I need you to get out of the way. There we go. All these stacked cabinets look like they could fall over at any time. Uh, it's very dark. I won't go in there without a light. Seriously, we're going to make him lead the way through all these, like, sketchy-looking cabinets and everything like that? That's fine. Me? Help me. One slice of bread. Sometimes I just keep clicking on things to investigate, and, like, randomly now and again, I'm, I'm getting things. Okay. I'll help if I can. Oh, jeez. These aren't pictures. These are, like, real dangling people. <laughs> Nothing interesting here. I disagree. Apparently, what we consider interesting is wildly different. 20 credits! Uh, uh, I think we just keep moving then, because for some odd reason, we're just choosing to ignore this. I can't interact with all the dangling people, only like the cabinets and things like that. Oh my god, take it easy. I'm sure there's got to be a way to go out in the back. Uh, maybe maybe we're taking him towards where he already like worked his way away from or something like that run well, What does the rest of it say? There's clearly more to it than that something written on the wall run hold X Oh, that sounds useful. Oh, are we ditching this guy? What the shit? Oh fuck. Okay. Nope. Nope. You're not coming with us. Sorry, dude I'm holding X and I'm hitting run and I'm getting mangled. Oh, come on. What the shit is going on there? You're fired. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, how do continues and things work? Oh, I have to go all the way back to here? See, now I can run just fine. That was very annoying that I was getting bashed up so hard. Now I have to try and, like, recollect everything that I had I'd found before. Yeah, I don't know if the guy with the filing cabinet on his back is meant to be some sort of employee, or, like, what the hell is going on there? Is it or was it human? Those are kind of uh, big questions I got here, too. The sound effects these things make when they get wigged out really hard is kind of hilarious. This <laughs> It makes it sound like there's people possessing it or something, too. Oh, it is picking up the cardboard that triggers that. It's not just a matter of uh, moving up, like, laterally or whatever uh, across the screen. It's not where you're standing. It is picking up the cardboard. So it makes me curious because it seems like the game wants me to pick up the cardboard before allowing me to advance further. So perhaps it'll be significant in some way. Yeah, this time, dude, I have no qualms about leaving you behind. Although I don't think I'll be able to just run off in uh, whatever direction without him. Because I can't go very far before I lose the light, right? So do I have to, like, keep a specific distance between us so that I can still see what's going on? It's not... it's not great. It's not a great situation to be in, I'll tell you that. I'm... I'm fully prepared to get the hell out of here this time. Go, 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 go. Don't wait for anyone. Don't wait for anything. Just run. Ah, there, there. Well, now we can keep a good distance between us. What the shit is going on here? Hopefully all that works. Oh, good. That's what I was hoping, that all that would, like, block the way there, so I wouldn't have to worry too much about it. What was that? Fuck. Okay. I think we get out of here. <laughs> I have to get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> Fucking run. <laughs> climb up through there. Uh, I got nothing to climb onto. Uh, 
How well do you think you can zigzag your way through this shit now that we can't see what's going on? Uh, I think we came up this way. Shit. Oh, 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 oh. we gotta, we gotta, uh, place, place boxes. Place boxes everywhere. It needed us to, to have those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to get out of here. Climb up, use the boxes. That, it, I was right. It needed us to find those in order to be able to do anything. I'm not stopping for shit. I guess unless something shows up in front of me. But for now, I'm mostly concerned about things coming up from behind. We'll just try and keep our eye out in every direction, because everywhere is probably bound to try and kill us. Hey, the other event that I thought about going through. Smooth landing. Oh my goodness, what was that? What's going on at this company? Oh, Sosa! Hey, you! Bah! Oh, you get back here right now. I need answers to whatever the shit is going on here. That's too fucked. Don't you just hide back here. Please, we need to call for help. Boss. Boss? Are they out of their office, maybe? Should I be putting down a save right here? I think we gotta go see what's going on with the boss first, maybe. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> Hello? Hugo! What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost! A monster! There's monsters in the office! A what? I went to Office D and it was... I don't know, a, a nightmare. <laughs> I think I understand. A monster you think you saw is actually a fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks ago and locked himself in his office. No, 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 no. What happened in there isn't normal. There was a guy tied to a chair and dozens of employees hanging from the walls. We've got to tell someone. Um, well, man, I don't think there's anything like that going on in here. I swear, there were coffee makers and monitors flying through the air. <laughs> don't tease me, Pastor Knack. Besides, why'd you go into that office anyway? We blocked it off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. Well, the boss called and told me to find my ID card there. Hmm. Your ID card's right here on the table. They're always left here. But... Wait. Are you the boss? Did you call and tell me? This office is a total mess. What are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, didn't I tell you? There aren't any bosses at this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a bit weird, but they've all gone crazy and left in most cases. Our last boss locked himself up in his office for years until one day he just ran away. Who knows? Stress, perhaps. Wait, there's no boss who called me. Ha, <laughs> just some joker, I suppose. Well, time to get back to the old grind. Stop worrying about it. Ah, it'd be best if we took your ID card and started work as soon as possible. Oh, did I say work? Well, don't try to do too much. You wouldn't want to go crazy like that monster. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me. Good tip. Got your ID card. I plan to poke around a wee bit further in here. Slice of cheese. Yuck. Yeah, but man, we got a slice of bread and a slice of cheese. We's making some grilled cheese. That's gonna make everything better. Then, this, this seems like a totally tolerable work environment. Just as long as we get ourselves that nice... Sweet grilled cheese. I got two witch papers. We're set. We're in great shape. I think I'm gonna go slap down a quick soul capture. It's already happened once. I don't think we could uh, get our soul double captured or anything, you know? So might as well just keep at it. There's no reason to not just go all in at this point. Yes, I know about the computer. The computer's activated, ready to go. I kind of want to chime in with Sosa quickly. You somehow seem like one of the only people here who actually has your head on a swivel. You wouldn't think so, but you, I trust you more than anyone right now. Hello? I think we'll just leave her be then. You go? Anything you want to talk about, bud? I'm having a lot of doubts about my job right now. 
It'd be best if you turned on your computer, found out what your responsibilities are, and started ignoring them like the rest of us do. Overdoing things can be bad for your mental health. I'll get right on that. Maybe it's just the nerves of the first day, you know? Just getting the feel for things, the lay of the land. I'm sure it'll all come together for me soon enough. Then soon I'll, I'll come to love work life at Cinder Corp just like everyone else does. It'll be a grand old time. Look forward to doing it with you guys. I hope you're as intrigued by this game as I am because it's weird as hell in such an enjoyable way. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.